Okay, I think I feel better. Somewhat. Okay, moving on. Super Saiyan Vegeta. So, uh... You know, it's funny. I was having a discussion with my girlfriend the other day. Uh, holy shit, Bob was a girlfriend. Um, I was talking with her about Dragon Ball Z and said... Uh, I think the overall story of Dragon Ball Z is fundamentally not that good, but it's all the subplots that really give the show its flavor. I, I would argue that Vegeta's entire character is, like, one of the strongest, if not the strongest aspects of Dragon Ball Z, like, period. As well as making him, like, one of the best characters in Shonen overall, you know. I'm just saying, his sheer evolution over, like, the span of, like, five years of the show's lifespan and the manga, just, holy shit. So, yeah, even just Vegeta, man. How do I, how do I explain this? You can interpret Vegeta's Super Saiyan training as in, like, one, two different directions. Uh, also, there's a machine, ex like, yourself ever experience fear. I love that. So, anyway, y you can interpret, uh, interpret, interpret, uh, Vegeta's Super Saiyan training one, two ways. Either as a whiny bitch, he just wanted to become a Super Saiyan, or the Super Saiyan tra training literally broke him and he just gave up. Uh, it's, I like to imagine the latter, but, you know, I can see why people would think the former. So, anyway, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Ha <laughs> uh, ha, So, you know how I said Goku's Super Saiyan form has, like, 140% boost? Uh, Vegeta's Super Saiyan form is only 110% because it doesn't stack like that, so, yeah. Anyway, what do I got? Bomb Bash, Meteor Flash, never fucking use that. No type Crash. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't have more extensions for Gallic Gun, but alright. I'll definitely be able to use Final Bash, though, that's for sure. Oops. <laughs> Sidestep like a bitch. So yeah, unfortunately, I still only know like one combo extension with Vegeta ever. That is a pain dick, but you know, whatever. Huh, he still has Photon Shot. Every single Android from here on out basically has Photon Shot. It's a little disheartening, really. Oops, I was not holding guard there. Was well, because I thought I got something out. So can you actually absorb energy? Jiro can in Budokai 3. Huh. Wait, wasn't there... Wait a minute. Was 19 in Budokai? Why am I imagining 19 in Budokai 3? Was he in Budokai 3? Why am I having a hard time remembering this? Hang on. This is... God damn it. Why am I so bothered by this? I remember an anima animation of 19 somewhere being able to use it. But why is that? Uh... God. I'm about to redact my entire Dragon Ball Z fan license if I can't remember this fucking fact. And anyway, I'll be back in a quick sec, guys. This is bothering the hell out of me. Okay, no, he is in Budokai 3. I don't know why I was thinking he was in Budokai 3 all of a sudden. I just remember this animation of Android 19 somewhere using a uh, life drain in a Budokai 3 setting and then shooting him with eye lasers afterwards. I might be thinking of Budokai Tenkaichi 2 or Tenkaichi 3. I'm not sure, but... I don't know, that's just escaping my grasp all of a sudden. Maybe I'm fucking delirious in this cold. Also, my god. So from here on out, Vegeta's gonna have this extreme hard on for uh, one handed explosive moves or one hand energy ball attacks. Basically called Big Bang Attack. Pretty good damn good move. Pretty fun. Uh, wow, Android 16's cast are fucking huge in this game. Never skipping leg day, holy shit. So yeah, uh, we kind of just skipped like two episodes of chasing Jiro through the canyons. I don't fucking know why, but you know, whatever. Oh no, they ignored me! Uh, okay, Vegeta, that's... God. It's weird to think how you could almost legally... God. You could almost legally label Vegeta as insane from the Super Saiyan training. What is with this mist? I want this as a damn level. God damn it. You know, that's the thing that always bothers the hell out of me about fighting games. Because in, in like, story mode, you'll get a certain level and it just looks really cool, but then you can't regularly select it in a versus match. Wow! 17, you have a fucking unibrow in that form. Whoa, ho, ho, dude. Then again, I guess you could argue Vegeta's not doing too much better because he's got, like, Popeye shoulders. Or, I don't know. <laughs> he's got pipe cleaners in his arms. 
strange, but okay. Anyway, this fight was beautiful. Ooh, I do get Big Bang Attack. Uh, the question is, can I use it? Uh, maybe. Let's point out. The only one we know for sure. Oh, completely switch sides. Ooh. I didn't even mean for how that happened. I just accidentally tied up. I was like, oh, hey, cool. All right, base key is six. Uh, what can I do? What do I have access to? If there's one thing I will give Vegeta over over uh, Goku though, is that you can just immediately get into Super Saiyan for just four energy bars, which is awesome because with Goku you need like six. Although Goku can access KO can like, like two, so whatever. Uh, four punch, punch, kick energy. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, holy shit. Okay. So I just fucking confirmed that um, charge attacks. This shit only has one hit of super armor. I did not know that. Or one hit of invincibility frames anyway. Okay, okay. That's punish. 18, you are playing extremely overly aggressive right now. Holy crap. I mean, I also don't blame her, but damn. Where's the, where's the solid play? Jesus. Ugh. Okay, I fell for that one. <sighs> Maybe it's just because I don't have the muscle memory for it right now. <laughs> uh, wow, she has Goku's extremely vanilla throw. Also, I'm getting destroyed all of a sudden. Hang on, okay. No more big bang attack. We'll do it later. I mean, I have another chance to do it right now. Who knows? <laughs> Wow, I completely let that match go. That's like, wow, I'm almost ashamed of myself. Come on. <laughs> awesome counter hit. Uh. Shit. I reacted to it, but the button input didn't come out. Uh. There we go. Big bang attack. This uh, This does look pretty good. I think uh, in the GameCube version, his eyes going completely different directions. <laughs> Maybe. If that was gonna blow up the stage, there'd be something wrong. Let's just get that out. Oh my! Holy shit! She canceled her charge attack into a fucking throw. Damn me! I should be I should be learning under you. Holy crap! Hell, I'm gonna do that. Hey, you know what? Fuck it! I'm gonna kill you with that. Although the problem is I don't have a shortcut to it. Check, yeah, check it out. That's really cool. <laughs> See, the AI knows what's up with the mix-up games. Come on. I'm just baiting you with the side steps right now. Okay. Yep, there we go. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so this level does have a uh, crash effect of some kind. Oh my god. Okay. 18 take of the fight to me. I am impressed and aroused at the same time. Oh shit. Going for it. Oh shit. Did I drop the combo? I don't even know. There we go. That didn't take too much. <clears throat> I'm not sure if the sickness is actually taking its toll on me as of right now, but I'm hanging in there, damn it. Okay. Oh my god. You wanna play ballsy? Do I wanna play ballsy? Oh no. Ah. I, uh, I wanna throw out a taunt. Should I play solid? Play solid. All of the taunts. All the taunting. Fuck you, 18. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you see what I mean? The AI just, like, takes a huge jump from the Namek Saga up to this saga. Like, before Frieza, like, kind of did things every once in a while, but in this damn saga, all of a sudden, 18 cancels. She, she basically does, like, a Kara cancel from Street Fighter 4. Oh, yeah, and also, Vegeta got his arm messed up. That ain't too good. Oh, wait, I did kind of have coming, but, you know. Finally unlocked 18. Hell yeah. 
So yeah, in case you didn't notice from my uh, training mode menu, uh, you don't unlock a lot of characters through the, your first run. You have to go back and actually complete everything, which you have the option to do. Also, something I completely forgot to mention, and actually escaped from my mind because I wasn't really listening too much. Uh, so remember the preview from the Namek Saga for the Android Saga with Cell talking? He was doing the perfect Cell voice in the first form. L let that be an example of how bad this shit gets. There'll be, there'll be a full explanation why later on, but you know. Damn, we are already doing a hyperbolic time chamber, huh? Pfft. I don't see why. Oh, hey, Cell the thing. Even though it's in the next chapter we introduce Cell, but... Uh, right. So, and it goes, you, What do you mean yet another? This is, he hasn't even done anything yet. This is the first one. <laughs> so this is what lips feel like. You can never, never get tired of that. Uh... Uh, Trunks? Why do you look exactly the same as you did when you went into the hyperbolic time chamber? Um, what happened to, like, the crazy, like, metal hair? The sand armor? Nothing? Uh, sure. Wait, Vegeta's confidence? Hang on, I'm pretty sure it was actually a Dragon Ball Z episode name. Vegeta's confidence. I think that was one of them. Oh, they're doing this. We're, we're kind of glossing over... A lot of stuff right now, my god. No. Relatively certain I didn't skip anything. Hmm. <laughs> do now if you could just get me someone of quality like, I don't know, Goku? That'd be great. Also, this is still like one of my favorite transformations of the show. It's simplistic, but it's really, it really drives the point home. I think that's why I like it so much. Also, because unlike Super Saiyan 3 later on, you don't have to wait a whole half an episode for a transformation to come out. And to be fair, Super Vegeta is still one of the most impressive looking transformations ever. Like, holy shit. It's so subtle, but so much changes. It's great. Anyway, Super Vegeta. Five key gauges. That is not too bad. I hope I can keep the form after this. That'd be fantastic. Big Bang Attack, Final Bash. Wow, he's got... Damn, we got Vegeta with the full move set this time. Holy crap. Alright, can I get a final... Or, pff, no. Gotta get a big bang attack out of this. Also, battle the heavy weights right, right here. Holy shit. <laughs> also, yes, in case you're wondering, Super Vegeta is still my favorite thing in Dragon Ball Z, period. I apologize, but it just is. They get power rain. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> as Vegeta, as Fizel is still using first form voice. Should I explain it now or should I explain it later? Uh, just because I know it's going to be bothering some people who aren't like intimately familiar with this like I am. Uh, I'll explain between cutscenes. Let me just focus on this first. But yeah, Cell is ridiculously good. I don't think I need to mention that too much. His, his long limbs definitely gave him a huge advantage and nothing he really does is unsafe. So he's just a ridiculously good pressure character in this game. My god. I would damn near say this is the best cell we ever have in a two-dimensional game. Or at least, like, just universally. Ow. Ooh, my god. Really going to town with his charge attack. Holy shit. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, I can see what I mean by that range. It's ridiculous. Uh, excuse me. Alright. Let's just play simple. Just get him down a little bit. Can punch out with a throw. I think. Yeah, I can use the frame advantage at least. It was, oh, he's trying to... He's really trying to swing right now. <laughs> oh, bad move, man. Bad move. Alright. Oh, I couldn't bait it. Oh, I was trying to bait, bait him into swinging so I can hit him with a big bang attack. Shit. Alright, playing a little too greedy, Bob. Oh my god, I interrupted that. I love that shit. Okay, so good to know um, attacking beats throws. Obviously, but you know. God. Cell, why? Why is your range so fucking good? Why are you just like the best poking character in this fucking game? Besides, I don't know, Goku. No, he is like the best poking character in this game. He can just like throw anything and it will be amazing. <clears throat> oh yeah, actually. It reminds me of something. Super Ah, uh, yes. Sorry. 
I get a little overzealous whenever I get access to uh, Super Vegeta. It's just, it's in my nature, damn it. Anyway, uh, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, thanks to Zero Nigel for mentioning it in the comments, but I completely forgot. Apparently there's this trend going around where Nappa is all of a sudden a really damn good character. I don't know why. Like, uh, he's always, I've never really used Nappa, but for some reason he's actually really good in a lot of games. I didn't know that. Uh, interesting. Well, he definitely shits all over base form Vegeta and Raditz, so, eh. So anyway, Vegeta being played for a fool. This is great. I don't need to explain this too much right now. Although, I do need to show this. So, you guys at the Vor? I know, I sure am. <laughs> Kill me. I don't think I need to explain it too much. I think anyone knows anything about Dragon Ball Z probably knows about that scene. <laughs> and it still horrifies me every time. Also, hello, basically favorite villain any anime ever. Wow, that's a redundant statement if I've ever seen one. Okay, so let me explain the thing about Cell. <clears throat> so, perfect Cell, or just Cell in general. You'll notice that when you're using or doing gameplay of him, he always has a, he always uses either the first form voice in combat, or he's using the perfect form voice. Like it, it's just kind of interchangeable. The reason being, um, it doesn't, it's not necessarily the Namco fucking up. Oh, Namco does fuck a lot of things up. To be fair. <clears throat> Uh, the reason being is because in the Japanese version of this game, like Japanese build, um, Cell always uses. The, oh, God, my slur is so bad today. Cell always uses the same voice in like every form. the The voice never changes. So as a result of that, um, because of there's always just one voice slot for Cell in any Dragon Ball Z game or in the Budokai games, they can't just like put in more voice slots for Cell. To like distinguish between different forms, because you know it's like that's like if you were to take take Goku and give like a different voice for every single like Ko kind of form. You can't really do that because it's just like one character, but they get like transformations, which <sighs> transformations work differently from Budokai than they, like they doesn't Tenkaichi. So yeah, if you need any more elaboration, I'll be willing to help out. But for right now, let's just focus on this. Anyway, <laughs> sure, I didn't see that. Oh wait, I don't know what the input for Final Flash is. By the way, Final Flash is fucking cheap. Let me show you why. Oh, also sells really fucking cheap. I don't need to explain that one too much. All right, let me just get get in that ass. As the excellent adventures of Gutex and Mike Frost will explain, get in that ass. I'll tech roll everything. I don't think I need to explain it too much. All right, what's the input? I think it's punch, punch, kick energy. Yep, punch, punch, kick, kick energy. I thought it was three punches. Oops. Oh, shit. So yeah, perfect cell, really fucking good. Oops. Looking for a final flash, looking for my favorite move in the damn show. Oops. Hmm. I know I'm playing a little too greedy right now, but yeah. Shit. <laughs> cell is just really good too. I don't think I need to explain too much. This is why I highly emphasize you want to use Vegeta before you come into here. Uh, just so you can get the mileage under your belt at least. Oh, shit. Mmm, it's not what I had mine, but alright. Also, Cell has a multiplier of 130 right now. That's actually pretty damn good. Alright, come on. That should be unsafe, come on. Fuck you. Ah, uh, that should be... That kick... Um, Wow. How much health was that? You know what, don't tell me, I don't wanna know. Oh, you can do- Oh, that's right, you can do Final Flash in base form. Okay, Final Flash is really cheap. <laughs> you wanna know why? Okay, let me let me just show you real fast. Okay, Final Flash. Two key gauges, and it could come out of your punch string. And this is a natural combo punch string. I, 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 I experimented with it. This will always land. This is fucking cheap, I love it. Nope, come on. I know you're going for some- Stop rushing in, dude. Although one really good advantage, however, with Cell is that Cell's attacks are very sidesteppable. What is the AI loves using the very linear attacks? Yeah, I can kind of whip stuff. Kind of. Ooh, I didn't know about that kind of Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> See, even when you're getting your ass kicked, uh, a very good thing you want to do is be able to at least 
recognize stuff that happens or like take notes on the fly as it were invincibility frames nope damn he's really going in come on cell I know you got better oh yeah that's right another cool thing about this game because cells transformations are not gridlocked you can knock cell out of its perfect form only game you can do that this God, it's so cool. In any other Dragon Ball Z game, you cannot knock, you can't knock Perfect Cell out of his perfect form. It's great. That actually is one very good weakness because Cell does have some extreme multipliers. I no other, nowhere else does Perfect Cell actually have a multiplier of 130. I think in Budokai, what is it? Budokai 3 is only like 120% power level or something like that. Uh, 120, 125, somewhere in like the 120s. So yeah, um, this is actually one big weakness of Cell in this game. He has to reclaim his perfect forms in order to actually like keep it up. So yeah, Vegeta getting his ass kicked. I don't think it really explains too much. Trunks! That's how you get Trunks. Sorry, I always get a little enthusiastic when I like Trunks, you know. Um, what is he, like my fourth favorite character in the show? Yeah, that would do it. 